Now see that? That's like a... It's, but it's real green. Yeah, that looks like um, half cent. It's half cent. Deuce. Yeah, it is. Is it? Is it? Hey guys, I got Mr. Buff here. His dad came out to detect with us for his first time. It is 20 some degrees out and we're bundled up. I got a weedy that I didn't show. Oh, here we go. It just fell. Mr. Apart. Buff got himself what looks like almost like a snap button or something. Looks like a part of a two piece. Or is it the. Try to get this cleaned up for you. All right, we're back. This is some sort of knob off of something. Uh, so this says made in the U.S. Uh, there's a patent date, but no year. Well, it says 90 on it, so I don't know if that's 1990, 1890. And then it says climax on it, some sort of knob. We're thinking it's a knob because it has ridges on the outside that would give you a grip to turn it. So, I'm not sure what that is, but on to the next. All right, guys, got Mr. Buff out there. His dad's over here. I just got a pretty nice signal. I think I got a button here. It's got a lot of green on it yet. I think it's a button because it came up low on the Knox. Came up, I'm pretty sure, let me recheck it here. Let's check it and see what it comes yeah, see a 16. Came up a 16. Give it a little rub here. Huh. Let's see if we see any resemblance of a shank. Uh, let me try to clean this up more and I'll get back to you. Alright, I took this over to Mr. Buff and we both looked at it. Pretty sure it's a coin. But what's weird about it is it's coming up as that 16. So I'm not 100% sure on it. It's super thin. Almost like a KG. But no details on it. So, uh, I might have to try to look at this a little closer when I get home. But uh, it was about six, seven inches down here. Great signal. So, we'll see you on the next All one. All right. Second good signal. Looks like I got a little croto bell down in here. Let's hope it's complete. Ah, uh, no. It's not. Oh man, bummer, heartbreaker. All right, yep, it's broke. Oh, it still has the shank on it. Still a nice piece of history. It's a good sign. We're gonna keep working this area. Man. 
<laughs> I like to see you carry around this camera and keep it up. See that? That's like a... It's, but it's real green. Yeah, that looks like um, half cent. That's half cent. Deuce. Yeah, it is. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> two center. Yep. Buffy got a two center. That's my first. Is it your first? Yeah. It's Congratulations. My first. I thought I saw maybe some shield on this side here. Nice. 18, 18 let me guess. 1865. 64. 64? Yep. Whew. Not too far down either. Yeah, it came out of like three heavy, inches. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Awesome, brother. It's a nice. Kinda, it's a little you, chunky, you but I some think good that detail come out of that. With the Andre's pencils, I think that'll yeah. come right off. That man, that front there is beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. Or is that no? That's the reverse. I don't know what's what. I think it's the reverse. I see that real quick. Wow. Cool. Look at that. Two cent piece. Kind of, I called you. I kind of had yeah. that in the back of my head. Like, Mr. Hmm. Buff's first two center. That is awesome. 1864. That came up just like a, just like a penny. Nice. Mid Yo, low brother. 60s on simplex. Awesome. <laughs> Buffy's coming over. I got myself a thimble. Why? Right here. All right, guys. I got Buff with me here. And then I got a thimble here. Not sure if it's sterling or not. Do you have any spray at all on you? Yeah. It's shine. I don't. I don't think. I don't know here. Try to give it some sprays here on the lawn. Yeah, so you don't freeze your hair. Yeah, it's it's cold. Yeah, it looks plated. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. Still a thimble. Yeah. I'll get it cleaned up better at home, but I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, Buffy's saying fancy. Fancy something. Oh yeah, that like a brooch. Yeah, would that ring up? High town or sixties? Sixties. Looks very delicate. Ooh, it's got some gold gilding on it. Spray that. I'll get back to you guys. Or actually, he's gonna spray it. Let's spray all that water out of there. Check that out. We need some pressure. <laughs> that is neat. That is really cool. Alright, I don't know if you can see that. It would have been like a flowery. Pretty sure that's a brooch. Awesome. Alright, we got big owl over there, little owl over or medium owl over here, and, and little owl at home. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, down in here. I just swiped it. Where's that now? Look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. That's a that's a dandy, I big think. Sucker. Oh, big sucker. Whoa. What in the world? That's a big... Oh, it's some sort of token. Something 9%. Or something, no, 6%. Wow. I'm going to let Buff clean this up for us and we'll get back to you. That's pretty neat. Yeah, let's let Buff work on this. I think we got a token of some sort. Good luck. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yes. It has a horseshoe. Or... All right, Buff, clean this up. It's a it's a good luck token, actually. It's hard to see in the light here. Let me turn this way. I keep getting in my own shadow here. Can't really see. There we go. It's a good luck good luck token, right? 
Keep this and you will always have good luck. Hey, I'm going to have to keep this in my pocket <laughs> for good luck. But then on the other side, it says uh, new home savings and loan assistance. 6% on savings under supervision of the state banking department. Pays 6%. That is pretty neat. That is awesome. I guess I'll do some research and see what age that is. I'm, a, I'm just going to take a guess and say early 1900s. Somewhere around there. Check like that the out. That is so cool. All right, let's keep going here. All right, I decided to come back out in the uh, bean field here and just got myself an early wheat penny. I got a 19, 1917. They're having a little bit of issues with focus today. Ooh, there we go. Got it to zoom in. 1917 wheat penny. Look at that. All right, let's uh, keep working this area. All right, always you always recheck your holes. I rescanned with the detector. Got another 26 in here. See if we can find it. Where are we at? All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to try to find this now. I know there's another signal in here. Oh, it's out. Okay. It's up here. 24-25. Might be another weedy. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's... Looks like a weedy. Yep, we got another weedy. I wonder if it's going to be clear. Really hard to see. All right, this one actually looks like 1940 or 1940 something. All right, I'm definitely on a little bit of a coin spill here. I got two Wheaties there. Looks like I might have a nickel here. This came up really low on the knocks. Where is it? Another penny. 1930s maybe. 1931. Huh. Awesome. Three Wheaties. Definitely could be silver in this spill somewhere. I'm going to keep checking around here. Alright, I came over. Mr. Buff looks like he got himself a vintage lipstick container. Maybe. Yeah, that's what that looks like to me. Looks like that would have been a lipstick. Sweet. All right, right close to Buff's vintage lipstick container. I think I got a little buckle in here. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's a nice one too. That is nice. Yeah, it would have had a slide in there. Let me get this cleaned up. All right, I'm back. This is actually a really neat little buckle. First one like this I ever dug. Oh, there's some markings on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get that cleaned up. Just notice that now. Oh yeah. It's uh yeah. I don't know. I have to get a. Better clean up on it. AT uh nineteen twenty five oh six. Well that's not a date. I don't know. Either way, that's pretty neat looking. Anybody knows offhand the age of this, please leave a comment below. It's got some sort of like serial number or something on it. 
But all right, let's keep on rolling. All right, I don't know how much longer we have out here, but I uh, just got landed this. We're working our way back to the cars. There's a little, I don't know exactly what this is, but there's some lines on it. It might be part of an old case. Let me get this cleaned up. Looks like there's some fancy lines on it. So let me get back to you. All right, that looks like it was the lid to like a compact or something like that got the hinges on the hinges on the back side here some lines so all right let's see if we can find the other half if not we'll I'll see you at the end or on the next all right I'll stay let mr. buff do this real quick what, what? do you think no. <laughs> he's like what <laughs> all right let's uh, we're gonna do a wrap up here mr. buff gotta get going Let's see what's on the hoard board here. We got a uh, got this reflector, man. I'll tell you what. When I seen that side, I thought it was a big silver. Got a that compact lid, the good luck token. That's pretty sweet. This I th thought might have been part of a lock. I'm not sure. Got a piece of a croto bell, number one croto bell, unidentified copper right now got a thimble I am gonna clean it up better when I get home a little bit of a little watch there got four keys I don't know what these rings are to but they they really came up nice what are these trapper tags or yeah trapper tags this neat little buckle I gotta clean that up better some horse tack we're not sure what this is, but if anyone knows, leave a comment below. Out there, we got uh, one, two, three, four. Got four Wheaties. The one's an early one. Uh, got three, four memorials and a dime. Mr. Buff got, we think that's a brooch. Right there, fancy brooch. That's really neat. Got his first two cent piece, 1864. That is beautiful. That side's awesome. Got two dimes and a penny and a vintage lipstick container, it looks like. Oh, there's something on there. Or is that? No, maybe not. Not And a party van. <laughs> So all in all, hey, it was a pretty good day. Got some good exercise in, swinging, and uh, yeah, nice weather. So we'll see you on our next hunt. Later.